Hey everyone, it's me Jenny and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to knit this baby short pants. Um, this is size newborn up to 6 months old. And this is a very, very stretchy pants. Um, the stitch, the ribbing stitch right here really help with the stretchiness and also the garter stitch. Okay, and the leg right here, the opening is also very, very stretchy. Okay, so the measurement without stretching it. <coughs> It is so five and a half inches from one side so around it is about 11 inches but as I mentioned you can stretch this pretty pretty big okay for the hip without stretching it is about seven and a half um, 15 or 15 and a half inches and um, the leg opening right here without stretching it it is about eight inches um, around okay so I'm gonna show you step by step on how to knit so this is the front and this is the back so you can see the back right here there's line um, this line is because I knit around and I alternate knit stitch and purl stitch so you'll see this line right here but it really doesn't matter this can be at the back of um this is can this can be the back and this can be the front okay so without further ado let's start for this tutorial i'm going to be using this yarn this is kartopu number one yarn this is 100 gram per skein 160 meter so one skein is enough for you to um, do the whole shorts so this is a very very soft 100% anti-peeling acrylic yarn okay so if you don't have this yarn you can use any equivalent yarns um, this is a lightweight number three and if you don't have number three you can use number four but um, the result will come out bigger okay so for the knitting needle I'm going to be using two different needle this is 16 inches circular needle 4.5 millimeter and also I'm going to need um, double pointed needle this is 4.5 millimeter as well okay so you also need stitch marker and you also need scrap yarn and tapestry needle so the scrap yarn is for you to secure stitches when we separate the legs and the tapestry needle is to secure um, to slide the yarn to the stitches and to refinance okay so let's start okay so we're going to start um, by making slip knot and we're going to cast on 48 stitches and the cast on method that I'm going to be using is the long tail cast on so as you can see right here make a slip knot and you're going to cast on 48 stitches and the slip knot on the knitting needle count as um, the first stitch and if you're not sure how to cast on using the long tail cast on method there's a lot of tutorial out there you can go ahead and pause this and check how to cast on the long tail cast on but right here I'm going to show you um, slow how to cast on using this long tail cast on okay so go ahead and cast on 48 stitches okay so once you cast on 48 stitches and if your ends the tail is too long just go ahead and snip it up a little bit just enough for you to weave in ends okay so place the stitch marker so now we're going to do the ribbing knit two and purl two and we're going to knit around so before you start knit the first round just make sure your stitches is not twisted okay so now we're going to start round one so for round one until round 12 it is all the same ribbing stitch 
So for the ribbing, we're going to knit two. So the first stitch I'm going to knit. This is the first knit stitch. Knit one. And the second stitch, I'm going to knit as well. Two. Okay, so I've knit two stitch. Now I'm going to bring the working yarn in front of the needle and you're going to purl two. Okay, so one and two. Okay, now you're going to repeat, bring the yarn to the back, you're going to knit two stitch, one, two, and now bring the yarn to the front, you're going to purl two. One and two. Okay, this is two. Okay, so go ahead and finish up um, the first round, round one, knit knit two and purl two. Okay, so I'll see you at the end of round one. Okay, so once you're done with round one, the last two stitch it should be a purl stitch. So bring the working yarn to the back of the needle, slide the stitch marker, and now we're going to do round two. So for round two, until round 12, we're going to do exactly the same as round one, where we're going to do the ribbing stitch, knit two, and purl two. Okay, so knit two, one, and two. And purl two. Okay, so go ahead and finish up until you reach round 12. Um, ribbing, knit two, and purl two for every round. Okay, so go ahead and finish up until round 12, and I'll see you at the end of round 12. Okay, so once you knit until round 12, this is how it looks like. I really love this yarn. It gives a really, really good stretch. Okay, so for round 13, we're just going to knit every stitch. So we're not going to do any purl. So round 13, just knit all 48 stitches. Okay, so go ahead and finish up round 13, knit all stitches, and I'll see you once you're done. Now once you're done with round 13, now we're going to do round 14. So slip the stitch marker. And for round 14, you're going to purl all 48 stitches. Okay, so round 13, we knit all stitches, and for round 14, you purl all stitches. Okay, so go ahead and finish up round 14, and I'll see you at the end of the round. Okay, so once you're done with round 14, you purl all 48 stitches. Now for the next two rounds, round 15 and round 16. So for round 15, you're going to knit all the stitches, all 48 stitches. And for round 16, you're going to purl all 48 stitches. Okay, so just repeat round 13 and 14. So round 15, um, as I mentioned, knit all the stitches. And for round 16, purl all stitches. Okay, so go ahead and finish up these two rounds, 15 and 16, and I'll see you at the end of round 16. Okay, so once you purl round 16, so next for round 17, we're going to make 6 increase by doing yarn over. So first, we're going to knit 8 stitches. 1. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
okay so once you need eight stitches now yarn over so just bring the yarn in front and now you're going to repeat you're going to knit eight and yarn over so one two three four five six seven eight okay so once you knit eight stitches now yarn over and you're going to repeat again knit eight and yarn over you're going to do this total six times okay so go ahead and do knit eight and yarn over and i'll see you at the end of round 17. okay knit eight lastly the last yarn over for round 17 just bring the yarn forward and you're going to slip the stitch marker okay so now we're done with round 17 so for the next round round 18 we're going to purl all the stitches and we're going to purl the yarn over stitch as well and you're going to um, purl the first eight stitch before the yarn over so one two three four five six seven eight okay so this is the yarn over stitch and you're going to purl at the back of the needle the yarn that's at the back right here okay and purl okay so now we're going to purl eight one Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we reach the yarn over and you're going to purl from the back stitch right here. Okay, so go ahead and purl all the stitches and for the yarn over stitch purl at the back of the stitch. Okay, so we're almost done with round 18. So purl the, the last yarn over. So for round 18, you should have total of 54 stitches after the six yarn over stitch okay so next we're going to do round 19 okay so for round 19 you're just going to knit all the stitches all 54 stitches okay go ahead and finish up round 19 and i'll see you at the end of the round okay so once you're done with round 19 you knit all 54 stitches now for round 20 you're going to purl all 54 stitches okay so go ahead and finish up round 20 knit all the stitches and i'll see you at the end of round 20. okay so once you're done with round 20 so for the next two rounds, round 21 and 22, you're going to repeat exactly the same as round 19 and 20. So for round 21, you're going to knit all the stitches. And for round 22, you're going to purl all the stitches. So once you're done with round 22, for the next round, round 23, we're going to make six more increase by doing the yarn over stitch. Okay, so I'll see you once you're done with round 22. Okay, so once you're done with round 22, as I mentioned, for the next round, this round, round 23, we're going to do 6 stitch increase by doing the yarn over. So first, we're going to knit 9 stitches. Okay, 
Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now we're going to do yarn over and now we're going to repeat knit nine and yarn over. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now yarn over and we're going to knit nine and yarn over until the end of the round. Okay, so I'll see you at the end of round 23. Okay, so once you're done with round 23, you did your last yarn over right here. So slip the stitch marker to the right needle. Okay, so for the next round, round 24, you're going to purl all the stitches. So bring the yarn forward and purl 9. Okay, purl 9. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so this is the yarn over stitch. We're going to purl at the back stitch right here. Okay, purl the yarn over at the back stitch. Now we're going to do the same purl all the stitches and for the yarn over stitch, we're going to purl at the back stitch. Okay, so go ahead and finish up round 24, purl all the stitches and for the yarn over stitch, purl at the back stitch. Okay, so I'll see you at the end of round 24. Okay, so once you done with round 24, you pull your last stitch or the last stitch is the yarn over stitch. So slip the stitch marker to the right needle and bring the yarn, working yarn behind. Okay, so for the next round, um, next few rounds from round 25, you're going to knit all the stitches and round 26, you're going to purl all the stitches. Okay, so you alternate knit, um, knit stitch round and purl stitch round. Okay, so you're going to repeat until you reach round 46. Okay, so for the round 46, you should end with a purl stitch round. Okay, so go ahead and finish up until you reach round 46. Just alternate knit round and purl round. Okay, so I'll see you at the end of round 46. Okay, so once you did your last round, round 46, um, round 46 should end with purl round. So remove the stitch marker and this one right here, this is just for me to mark um, the round 25 so I can keep track which round I need and purl until round 46. Okay, so just remove this. So now we are going to separate for the legs. So grab the scrap yarn and tapestry needle. So we're going to separate 30 stitches for one leg and 30 stitches for the other leg. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to slide 30 stitches from the left needle to the scrap yarn. So just use the tapestry needle and slide the stitches to the scrap yarn. Okay, total 30 stitches. Okay, so once you slide all 30 stitches to the scrap yarn. Now we're going to work and make sure you have 30 stitches on this needle as well. And for round one of um, every leg, we're going to make two extra stitch. 
and we're going to knit the leg using um, double pointed needle okay we're going to knit um, round one of the leg and we're going to make two extra stitch okay now grab one of the double pointed needle and we are going to knit round one so we're going to start um, so this is the working yarn right here and we're going to start at this side of the needle okay because we're going to knit around okay so just knit as i mentioned for round one we're going to make um extra two stitch and you can add the stitches everywhere you want so i'm just going to knit a few stitches right here Okay, now I'm going to make extra one stitch, so just pull this yarn and slide it to the left needle. Okay, so I'm going to show you one more time. Pull the yarn right here, slide it to the left needle, and we're going to knit that um, yarn over stitch by knitting at the back stitch or the back loop. Okay, so we made extra one stitch. Now I'm just going to knit a few more stitch before I use the other double point, the second double pointed needle to transfer few more stitches to double pointed needle. Okay, so now this is the second double pointed needle. I'm just going to knit a few more stitches before I make another stitch. Okay, as I mentioned for round 30, sorry, so as I mentioned for round 1 of this leg, we're going to make extra 2 stitch. So we already did 1. Okay, so we're going to pull this yarn right here and place it to the left needle and knit from the back stitch or the back loop okay so now we should have total of 32 stitches all together for round one okay so now i'm going to get my third double pointed needle and knit the rest of the stitches on the needle Okay, so once you transfer all the stitches to all these three double pointed needle, you should have total of 32 stitches. Um, that's included two extra stitch we did earlier. So um, it doesn't matter how many stitches you have per needle or on each needle, as long as you have 32 stitches. So what I'm doing right here right now is I'm counting. 12 stitches or 8 stitches per needle because we are going to do the ribbing which is knit 2 and purl 2 so I find it's easier if I have um, 12 stitches or 8 stitches on one of the needle okay it's easy for me to do the ribbing count okay but you don't have to do this so um, right now I have two needle that has 30 uh, sorry has 12 stitches and one needle has 8 stitches Okay, so now we doing round two and we are going to knit two and purl two. Okay, knit two and purl two. Okay, so knit two. and purl 2 okay you're going to repeat knit 2 and purl 2 until you reach round 9 okay so every round you're going to knit 2 and purl 2 
until you reach round 9. Okay, so go ahead and finish up and I'll see you at the end of round 9. Okay, so once you need um, the ribbing stitch, you need to purl to. Okay, so now we're going to do cast off at round 10 and we are going to do the stretchy bind off. Okay, so to do the stretchy bind off, you're going to start with knit 2. Okay, knit 2, 1, 2. So now we're going to transfer these two stitches back to the left needle and we are going to knit both stitch together. Okay, and now we're at the purl stitch of the ribbing. We're going to purl the next stitch. And we're going to transfer both stitch at the right needle to the left needle. And we're going to purl both together. Okay, and the next stitch is purl stitch at the ribbing. So we're going to purl that stitch and transfer both stitch to the left needle and we're going to purl both stitch okay so next stitch is knit stitch and you're going to knit the next needle the next stitch sorry and transfer both stitch to the left needle and knit both stitch together okay you want to repeat um, this bind off until you reach the very last stitch okay go ahead and finish up and i'll see you once you're done Okay, so this is the last purl stitch. So purl the last stitch, slide it to the left needle, and purl both stitch together. So we're done with um, the cast off or bind off. So just cut enough yarn for you to weave in ends. Pull the yarn, and now get your tapestry needle, and we're going to. Um, secure the stitches and I'm going to show you how to do it okay so what you normally do is just pull the yarn to the first stitch which is the knit stitch and go over the last stitch okay you're going to do this one or two times before you um, secure the stitches by doing slip knot okay, let's do the slip knot in here and within the ends okay so once you're done this is how it looks like um this is a very stretchy bind off as you can see you can stretch it's really really wide Okay, now um, we're going to do the ribbing at leg 2. And right now, we're just going to slide the double pointed needle to all 30 stitches. So you're going to use a total of 3 double pointed needles. Um, it really doesn't matter, as I mentioned earlier, how many stitches you have per needle. Okay, so slide few more stitches to the second double pointed needle now we're going to slide all the stitches to the third double pointed needle okay so now 
once you slide all 30 stitches to all three double pointed needle now just pull the scrap yarn and we're going to start round one and for round one as i mentioned from earlier from leg one we're going to make two extra stitch okay so just grab the yarn the new yarn and leave a little bit tail for you to weave in ends and we're going to start round one right here and just knit few stitches before you make the first extra stitch okay so right here I'm making one extra stitch pull the yarn to the left needle and knit it from the back stitch or the back loop okay and I'm going to knit the rest of the stitches at needle number one double pointed number one okay so now at the second needle it's going to knit okay so we need all the stitches on second double pointed needle so at the third double pointed needle I'm going to make one the last extra stitch okay just going to need few more stitches okay so I'm making one extra stitch right here and knit the rest of the stitches Okay, so done with round one um, of leg number two. For round one, you should have total of 32 stitches. Um, that is included two extra stitch that we made at round one. Okay, so now we're just going to do the ribbing, which start from round two until round nine, knit two and purl two. So what I'm doing right here is I'm just separating 12 stitches um, and eight stitches so two needle has 12 stitches and one needle has eight stitches okay so just re do the ribbing stitch knit two and purl two until reach round nine okay so at round ten you're going to do the bind off stitch okay so just go ahead and finish up and I'll see you at the end of round ten where you finish and did the cast off okay so I'll see you once you're done okay so once you're done with your bind off um, you're going to cut the yarn a little bit long because we're going to use this yarn to um, secure right here to close the hole at the center okay so go ahead and sec secure the bind off at leg number two and I'm going to show you how to close the hole at the center. Okay, so once you secure the stitches at the bind off, um, at leg number two, just slide your needle all the way to the center at the crotch area. And I'm going to show you how to do it. Okay, so once you reach right here, you're just going to, there's no wrong or right way to do this. So what I normally do, I'm just going to pull my yarn from one side of the opening to the other side of the opening.
Okay, so now we're just going to make few knot, one knot, or two knot. I normally do double knot, and weave in ends. Okay, you weave these ends, and you're also going to secure this end right here. Okay, so once you're done, turn the work, and this is how it looks like. Okay, so as long as you secure, there's no hole, that's fine. So there you have it. This is how I knit these pants. I love the feel of it. Very soft to the touch. And I do hope you find this tutorial very easy, easy to follow. And if you have any question, leave your question at the comment section down below. I will try my very, very best to reply. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Share this video with your fellow knitter friend. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not already. That way you won't miss any of my future uploads. And also follow me on social media, Facebook, and Instagram. Okay, so that's all for now. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. Take care, everyone. God bless and bye.